To make an OVA file with VMware Fusion, we're going to use the OVF tool. First thing is, is notice that the OVF tool is in Applications, VMware OVF tool. It's been in this location for a few versions. We're using VMware Fusion 10 in this case. The next thing we're going to do is use the command OVF tool, passing in the parameter accept all EULAs. Then we're going to give the location to the VMX file that defines the virtual machine. VMX file is just an XML file used by VMware to describe a virtual machine and it'll be in the directory of the virtual machine. You can also give the name of the output file or the OVA file. Optionally you can also specify a directory to store this file in. When you're ready then you'll hit enter. Depending on the size of the virtual hard drive of your virtual machine, this process can take a while. Once the process is done, you'll see the success messages, and now you've successfully exported your virtual appliance. You can move it over to another hypervisor or send it to someone else, and they can run the virtual machine.